Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Yes. So just wait and start. Okay. Uh, so very good uh, sorry, very good morning all of you. Uh, so we have discussed in our last classes. This is the basically uh, transducer. Okay, and uh, we have to classify the different categories of uh, transducer. So uh, as per our uh, selection, okay, that is the um, industry oriented. We have to classify this transducer. You know that that is two categories. First one is the Active transducer and another one is the passive transducer. So last class we have to explain different type of active transducer. Okay. So in this active transducer, you know that we have to use this active transducer in our industrial oriented. That is where speed is measurement, pressure is measurement, okay, flow is measurement. So there are the lots of physical variable, physical parameter you have to measure using this. Uh, okay, so today we will today we will discuss uh, the, the passive transducer. Okay, passive transducer. So just wait. I am sharing my screen. My whiteboard is visible. All of you? Yes, sir. So today we will discuss the passive transducer. So you know that previous classes we have to discuss this passive transducer. We have to basically uh, measure according to the different principles. That means first one is using the resistance properties. Okay. And number two, you know that that is the inductance. Hmm. Number third, this is the basically capacitance. Number four, that is voltage and current. Okay. And another, another, it is also present. This is also train uh, of pulses. So this train of pulses is basically another category. That is a digital transducer. Okay. Uh, this is the basically train of pulses. Okay, train of pulses. So these are basically uh, basically we have to maintain according our. Uh, parameter that is the resistance is changes. That means I am giving you one example. That means you have to use a uh, thermistor. So, what is the uses of thermistor? Anyone? Anyone? Thermistor, this is basically uses for the temperature measurement for the hot body measurement. Okay, that means. When you have to measure any any uh, hot liquids, okay, or that is the temperature, it is increases any any type of surface or liquid or any types of substance also, okay. So using this thermistor, you have to easily measure the temperature of the particular device. So this temperature it is basically changes using this resistance properties, okay. So uh, here, when you have to uh, go the details in the thermistor, RTD, you have to see there are different types of resistors you have to connect it. That is the series connections of parallel connections. Okay, so these are the basically parameters we have to measure uh, for the passive transducer. That means resistance property, inductance property, capacitance, voltage and current. And another also, this is train of pulses. These are the basically another one. When when you have to 
you have to read the digital electronics. So here we have to use this encoder circuit. Okay, so this encoder circuit, this is basically, we have to use this, uh, one type of transducer for the angular position measurement. Another one is also counter, that is counting circuit. Okay, so this, are, this counting circuit, you know that it is, it is counted the motion. Okay, so these are the basically categories under the frame of mind. Okay, so we have to explain one by one uh, in details, that is the resistance. First one we have to discuss the resistance. So first, number one, using the resistance property, we have to classify a passive transducer into different categories. First one is potentiometer. My voice is clear, all of you? Yes, yes. sir. Okay. So this potentiometer, it is basically uh, operation, principle operation. What is the principle of operation this potentiometer? It is variation of different resistance. Okay. Variation of different resistance in this potentiometer. Uh, we have to use this big circuit. Uh, it is changes the different forces. That means when you have to use this potentiometer, you have to change this. Uh, that is the zero level to the higher level of the resistivity. Then the anything is changes. And using this property, you have to measure uh, that is the uses for. And this table, uh, this active and passive transducer is very much important for your uh, future. And also it is basically uses for the MCQ pattern questions in your interview or same semester questions also. So this potentiometer is uses for the SR measurement, also displacement measurement, position measurement. Okay. So using this potentiometer, you have to easily measure any pressure is changes, uh, any anything is uh, any substance or any liquid or any 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 areas. So these are the basically uh, measure for potentiometer for the pressure measurement, displacement measurement, and position is measurement. Okay. So in the industrial area, we have to use this as per our uh, applications. Number. Two, that is second, strain gauge. This is called the resistance strain gauge. It is used for the force measurement. Okay, and it is also torque measurement, displacement measurement. Displacement measurement. So this strain gauge, this is strain gauge in your syllabus, uh, it is present in your uh, details. You have to go and uh, later part of the details. What is the basic circuit configuration of the strain gauge? Okay. So these are the basically uh, resistance strain gauge. It is used for the uses passive chance user, uh, and it is used for resistance change of resistance properties also. So variation of resistance of any of a wear. Okay or a semiconductor material, you have to easily change uh, externally applied it of any type of stress or pressure. So this strain gauge, we have to use this for the force measurement, torque measurement, displacement measurement. So I am given one example. You have to, all of you seen the uh, weight bridge. That means the track or overload track, it is also measured for the weight. Or uh, sometimes you have to see these are the basically blank, blank that is the empty track it is weighted. So this weight, this is basically one sensor it uses in this device also. Strain gauge we have to use this for the load measurement or force measurement. Another another sensor it is also uses that is the load cell. You have to listen this term that is load cell. So using the strain gauge method or load scale, you have to easily measure any weightage, that is a higher amount of weightage of the device. Anything it is, it is truck, it is any, any, anything is, you have to 
easily measure for the force measurement, torque measurement, and also displacement. Okay, up to this part it is okay, all of you. Next, yes. Okay, next, Pirani gauge. I am given the idea in the previous classes that is a Pirani gauge, or it has other names that is a hot bed meter. What is the uses of this? It is basically uses for gas industries. Uses for gas flow for the gas industries, and also it is measure the gas pressure. Okay, so you have to see uh, uh, in LPG gas in your in your room that is in your house. You have to use this for cooking. That is LPG, liquid petroleum gas. And using this LPG, you have to see this one cylinder. It is have. So this cylinder, it has a valve which is also placed into the connection of the cylinder and as well as also regulator. So this is basically all the one gauge. In our technical terms, it is used for gauge. So this is basically Pirani gauge or hot bed meter. I am giving a small example. But when you have to go in the uh, any industries, gas industries or chemical industries, where the or fertilizer industry, where the different types of materials are produced, okay, or chemicals are produced. So you have to see there are different types of gas sensors which is senses the different gas or different liquid. So using this Pirani gauge or hot bed meter, we have to really measure. For the gas flow or gas pressure. Okay, so using this variation of resistance of a heating element, we have to easily measure the convection of the cooling of a gas or anything is liquid also. Okay, number four, that is D, resistance thermometer. It is very much important device. Resistance thermometer, or it have also name another name that is pyrometer. I think all of you see at least in this pyrometer. What is pyrometer or what is resistance thermometer? What is the basic principles of this pyrometer or resistance thermometer? It is, it, it is variation of resistance. That means you have to changes. The resistance that is the lower to the higher level that is variation of resistance of a pure metal where with the variation of the temperature. That means when you have to use this type of device for the measurement of the temperature, higher level of temperature. Why that is what type of application it is used for the pyrometer? It is it is uses when you have to go the thermal power flow. So you know that in our thermal power plant, there are coal is burned. That is coal. That is coal. Okay, coal. So this is a bulb. So there, in the furnace, the temperature is very much increases. So in the inner wall of the furnace, you have to continuously measure the inner side of the temperature of the furnace because it has a maximum level of the temperature okay so when the temperature it is very much high the furnace it is also destructive or devastated okay so that's why we have to measure the inner temperature of the furnace so using this pyrometer or resistance thermometer we have to easily measure inner side of the temperature okay is it clear all of you? Yes. Okay. So it is uses for temperature measurement. Only temperature measurement. Okay. Temperature measurement. Okay. So what is the principle? I am given that is the principle is when you have to use this resistor thermometer, the variation 
of the different resistance value we have to use the pure metal with the variation of the different resistance. Next, number five, that is E, thermistor. What is thermistor? You know, this thermistor, it is basically one moment. This thermistor, it is basically uses for the uh, temperature measurement. Okay. So, uh, one question is given. Uh, what is the basically uh, change the range of the uh, pyrometer and also thermistor? So, first I am written here. The so uses of the thermistor, it is uses for temperature measurement. Temperature and, and here also this is also the temperature measurement and also it is measure the radiant heat. Radiant heat also. This radiant heat it is a uh, one type of temperature measurement. Radiant heat that means that, that means when you have to work in nuclear power plant to know that this nuclear power plant that means the nuclear materials we have to use so with the nuclear material it is it is it is uh, again and again again and again broken uh, in the different particles also that is you know that alpha particle beta particle gamma particle so when the different particle which is produced they are the temperature is also high okay temperature is also increases so in the nuclear power plant, we have to use the pyrometer for the radiant heat measurement. Okay. Another one I am given that is a thermistor. This is also used for the temperature measurement. And at the range of this thermistor, it is lower than the pyrometer. Because this pyrometer you have to use uh, the higher level of the greater than 1200 degrees Celsius. Okay, so these are the basically ranges of the temperature. That means when you have to use this pyrometer, uh, that is a greater than the 1200, 1200 degrees Celsius to the 1500 or 1800 degrees Celsius. But when you have to use this thermistor, this range is uh, lower. That is the 300 degrees Celsius to 700 degrees Celsius. So using this thermistor, you have to use this uh, measurement for the temperature measure. Okay. So what is the basic principles of the thermistor? It is basically also uses the uh, variation of the variation of the uh, resistance. We have to use a certain uh, type of metal or metal oxide, and it is changes the different temperature. Okay. Next, F. F. F is that is the Hygrometer, that is a resistance hygrometer. Resistance hygrometer. It is basically uses for relative humidity. Relative. This is basically uses for the weather. You know that our environment it is also where the cold places is present, where the hot area is presented, for the uh, another one is that is a uh, sea so that is also uh, the coastal area. So these are the basically different temperature you have to see different different places also. So the humidity of the uh, environment it also increases or decreases. So using this hygrometer, okay, this is also basically changes of the uh, variation of the resistance of a conductive strip with the uh, moisture content. So using this resistance hygrometer, you have to easily use the uh, relative humidity of a place. Also. Last number. 
G. That is photoconductive state. Photo. Conductive cell. What is the photoconductive cell? You know that all of you seen the solar cell. What is the principle of solar cell? You know that this solar cell in our daytime, the sunlight it is heated the plate of the solar plate, and this solar heat or light energy it is converted into our electrical energy also. Then we have to store the electrical energy for the future uses, or we have to send this power into the into the grid also. Then the grid it is distributed the power into the your town or your village, etc. Okay, so these are the basically uh, principle of the photoconductivity. So using the variation of the different resistance of a cell, cell means. That is a solar cell, photoconductive cells, where it senses the photo or light or heat energy from the sun. So this variation of resistance of a cell, we have to easily maintain or measure the heating element. So this is basically uses for photosensitivity. Photo. Sensitivity relay. Okay, so these are the basic uh, category of the passive transducer for the resistance. That is, you have to uh, changes the variation of the resistance. You have to easily use different types of passive transducer. Is it clear, all of you? Yes. Next number two. Number two, what was inductance? Number two was inductance. So using this inductance property, we have to use this in our passive from passive transistor. That is inductance. First number one, magnetic circuit breaker. Magnetic circuit breaker. Okay, so this is a basically one type of passive transducer. We have to easily use this for the pressure measurement and displacement measurement. So it is used for pressure measurement, pressure and displacement measurement. Displacement measurement. तो अब लोगों का मन में मतलब एक क्वेश्चन आ सकता है सर ये प्रेशर तो हम लोग पोटेंशियोमीटर भी यूज कर सकते हैं ठीक सर और हम लोग कहीं पे भी मतलब मैग्नेटिक सर्किट को यूज कर सकते हैं सो वी हैव टू यूज दिस इन आवर एप्लीकेशन ओरिएंटेड और देयर आर डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स दैट मींस द साइज ऑफ द डिवाइस और सेंसिटिविटी ऑफ द डिवाइस और दैट इज अ दैट इज अ फिजिकल एनवायरनमेंट दैट मींस व्हेन यू हैव टू डिजाइन a good quality of instrument for the industrial purpose we have to follow each and every properties of the different type of sensor uses metal uses that type of metal or that type of sensor or transducer it is particularly working in the environment that is the hottest area environment coldest area environment or anything it else okay so using these different properties that is the size of the instrument Or sensitivity of the instrument, or uh, costing. That is the one another important term. Costing of the uh, instrument. So there are the largeness of the uh, uh, instrument also. So these are the basic uh, criteria for choice the different types of transducer. Uh, so this magnetic circuit breaker it is basically uses for the pressure measurement, displacement measurement. Okay. so variation of cell for mutual inductance these are the inductance property you have to change the variation of the inductance of a coil or of a device you have to easily change the magnetic circuit 
for the measurement for the pressure measurement as well as also displacement. Second, this is also reluctant. Reluctance is in pickup. So using this inductance property, that is the variation of the uh, reluctance or inductance of the magnetic circuit, you have to easily change the position of the core of the coil. Okay, so it is basically uses uh, for pressure and displacement. These are the same thing. Pressure and displacement measurement. Okay. Number third, C. Differential transformer. Differential transformer. Also, this is used the, the properties of the variation of the differential voltage of two secondary windings. So, you know that uh, two types of windings are present primary winding and secondary winding. So, when you have to use this differential transformer, here uh, the changes in the different types of voltage in the secondary winding, you have to easily vary the position of the magnetic core of the externally applied force. So, easily you have to use this for the force, force measurement, use this for force measurement, also pressure measurement, position, position uh, measurement, displacement measurement, etc. Displacement measurement. So, these are the basically application area of the different types of acid okay is it okay all of you yes, yes sir. sir next number four uh, that is the ad current parts ad aap logo ka matlab exam mein mcq ke pattern mein ye question de sakte hai what is the that is the uses of the a differential transformer. You have to give it four options. That is force, a displacement, speed, acceleration, humidity, density. So, yes, that's the I uploaded the class note in the Google Classroom portal also. I think all of you read this uh, class notes in, uh, in your room. And also, all of you uh, have the books also. I am uh, telling the JB Gupta or HS1, these are basically particular uh, volume of the different topics for your measurement and experience. Okay, and also I am uploaded uh, when we have to cover the different types of topics. I am uh, also from PDF or that is a copy of the plus minus in your whole plus minus. Okay, so these are the another one, AD current gauge. Okay, so what is the principle of this AD current gauge? This is basically used for the variation of the oil inductance by the proximity of the AB current plate. Okay, so it is uses uses for the uh, displacement displacement measurement. Another another is also thickness. This is very much important. I am given one example. That means this thickness measurement, it is basically uh, uses the uh, where the manufacturing unit, that is a different types of manufacturing unit it is produced. That means you have to make the different plate or metal plate or any fiber plate, anything it is, or any anything that is a, you have to use uh, the construction wall, where the wall is uh, made by cement or just that there is a construction material. Also. So you have to easily measure particular thickness of the device or plate thickness of the device. So using this gauge, that is the AD current gauge, you have to variation of the oil inducted by the proximity this changes. You have to easily measure for the uh, displacement as well as also 
Next, number five. Uh, this is the magno magnetic, that is a magnostatic friction balls. Magneto friction. Gauge. What is the principle of this magnetostriction gauge? It is also a variation of magnetic properties by the pressure and stress also. Okay, so you have to use this magnetostriction gauge using the variation of the magnetic properties by the pressure or stress also. So it is uses for Force measurement, pressure measurement, sound measurement, etc. So these are the basically uh, different categories of the uh, passive transducer for the inductance properties uses for the inductance. Okay, is it okay all of you? Yes, sir. Now we go the next one, number third, kya tha? capacitance property to use karke, hum log passive transducer use kar sakte. So property is capacitance. Number one, number A, uh, that is a variable. Sir, previous page ikbar dikhaiye na. Okay, okay. This one? Yes, sir. Any any questions? Any questions? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Okay. So I'm going next next slide. Okay. So variable capacitance. I have uploaded the class note. This, this class note is in the Google Classroom. No, no tension. So please everyone uh, follow the Google Classroom portal also and access the class note also. I am uploaded uh, one, one and a half hour also after the ending of the class. That is the variable capacitance pressure gauge. That means you have to easily, easily, easily uh, but the both sector that what is the measure for the pressure measurement? So it is uses for pressure displacement etc. Measurement. So what is the property of this uh, variable capacitance of pressure gauge? What is the uses? Uses the property of the variation of the capacitance due to the variation of the distance between the uh, plate. That is the two different plates. So you have to easily change the different capacitance or capacitor value. You have to easily measure for this pressure gauge for the measurement for the pressure as well as also this pressure. Next number. Second, that is a B. Capacitor microphone. All of you see in this type of transducer or uses. Capacitor microphone. Microphone. That means when a singer singing a song using the device as a microphone or uh, speech, you have to give a speech using the microphone. So this microphone, it is basically uses for the passive transducer. What type of capacitor type of, that is using the different capacitance. So variation of the capacitance between a fixed plate and a movable diaphragm. One diaphragm sensor it is also present into the microphone device. So variation of the capacitance between the uh, fixed plate and a movable diaphragm due to the uh, once pressure, it is also arise. That is, this pressure it is called sound pressure. Okay, that means when you have to 
singing a song. That means your voice signal it is sensed by this microphone. Then this microphone, this audio signal or sound, it is converted in the electrical energy. And this electrical energy you have to see in the access for the sound energy. Okay, that means speaker. It is also loudly uh, sound is coming from the speaker. So these are the basically for for sound measurement. So uses uh, for sound measurement. And this type of sound, you know that it is basically different types. That is the speech. Sometimes it is also music. You have to. Uh, listen the music and also different type of noise it is also done to know that so a good quality of microphone you have to use as one filter circuit you know that filter circuit you know the rectifier circuit this filter circuit what is why why you have to use as the uh, filter circuit into the microphone you know that this filter circuit it is it is basically decrease the noise level that means when you have to sing in a song in the in the environment another sound it is also coming the small type of sound or anything it has so using this uh rectifier sorry uh, that is a filter circuit you have to easily decrease the level of the noise level okay so this is a basically capacitor microphone for the passive uh, transmit number 3 that is the dielectric gauge okay everyone write your own name and roll number in the chat box also and rahul is present regular student response me yes sir rahul you take a screenshot what is okay sir okay so last one that is a dielectric gauge it is basically uses for the uh, properties of the variation of the capacitance okay this very variation of the capacitance it is changes into the dielectric level so this is basically uses for liquid level i have given you one example liquid level uh, this is the one one group type of good uh, uh, project it is done for the liquid level and also also it is used for the thickness measurement thickness measurement so this dielectric type of gauge it is used for the capacitance properties okay so using this capacitance properties we have to easily measure for the liquid level Of a of a tank or thickness measurement. So I am giving you one example. Liquid level measurement. That means when you have to use it, the uh, your home you have to see one one water tank is present. So this water tank I think that is a one thousand liter or whatever you have to uh, install in your house or you uh, in your home. So uh, that your uh, tank is for the liquid. It is fill the tank also. This we have to use it, this type of capacitance type of transducer. Easily, you have to uh, automatically you have to control the your motors. So you have to use the three uh, level of the uh, height of the liquid that is a low, medium, and a high. When the liquid level that is a water level it is high, the motor it is also that is a sensor it is also stop the motor for rotate. Okay, and when it is low, it is also operated. A motor it is also automatically on. So these are the basically examples for the dielectric gauge or the liquid level measure. Okay, is it okay, all of you? Okay, so we have discussed in our class that the passive transducer different properties, resistance, inductance, capacitance. Next class we have to discuss for the voltage and current measurement and also train of pulse. Okay.